You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports 2. Let's talk about the Packers. Aaron Rodgers was on a podcast and he made some comments. Brian Gunacus, he made some comments. And it sure sounds like the Packers GM is ready to turn the page and move on from Aaron Rodgers if you just listen to him talk, particularly when he talks about Jordan Love. It just sounds like they're ready to move on. And then, of course, you believe the Jets. The Jets are anxiously awaiting Derek Carr's meeting with the Jets again today, by the way, at the scouting combine. He met with the Saints and the Panthers yesterday. I still think both of those guy, uh, teams are better fits for Derek Carr. A lot of people have asked me why. Well, simply, I believe Aaron Rodgers can, you know, really handle the New York media. That's where me and uh, Tiki Barber disagree. Uh, I did hear uh, Boomer uh, Geo and uh, Jerry this morning on Boomer and Geo, and they both or of the opinion that Aaron Rodgers will do just fine in the New York media. Personally speaking, I think Aaron Rodgers will relish at the opportunity to spar with New York media. I think he will love it. I truly do. Uh, Derek Carr, I don't know. I feel like the moment he has a, you know, a zero touchdown, 172-yard, two-interception day, and a fumble which is probably going to happen once or twice a year, it's going to get ugly, especially if he's not throwing up some three and four touchdown days routinely otherwise. It, it would get ugly. And uh, I just think, unfortunately, after seeing Derek Carr cry earlier this year, which, look, I've got no problems with emotion, uh, showing emotion as a player, but I do have problems uh, combining that kind of emotion probably with a pressure cooker like the New York media. So, let's get to this. We're going to do Gunacoos, and then we're doing Rogers PFT on this one. Packers GM Brian Gunacoos said Tuesday that until the team speaks with Rogers, all options are on the table. The one thing the Packers do know is Jordan Love is ready to play. Quote, we're excited about him, Gunaku said. I think I've expressed a lot to a lot of people that he needs to play. Think about that. I've expressed to a lot of people that he needs to play. Now, guys, understand that when he was asked about Jordan Love and they were talking about this, his demeanor changed to almost giddiness. I just think, I think the Packers are ready to move on. That's the next step in his progression. He needs to play. Jordan's done a great job working hard, so he's do doing everything we're asking. Love, the 26th overall pick in 2020, has played only 10 games with one start in three seasons, but if he's not ready now, he will never be ready. I agree with that. We took him for a reason back in 2020. He's been progressing nicely. And to see him kind of take the jump he did this past year was nice. Again, it's much different than going out week in, week out, taking on the challenges when teams are game planning for you. Quote, we're talking earlier about the length of time it takes for quarterback to go from playing well to winning in this league, and he'll need to go through those things just like every other quarterback. He's taking some really good jumps. And there's more out there for him, but I think the things that are out there for him, he's going to need to play to do that. Uh, so, I mean, again, it sounds like they're ready for Jordan Love. His demeanor said, we're ready for Jordan Love. We're ready to move on. Uh, so, uh, now that doesn't mean, look, one of the thoughts out there is that, that Aaron could say, look, I'm either going to come back to the Packers, and I know you guys don't want me there, so in turn, you're going to have to trade me 
to a destination of my choice. That may not be the Jets. That may not be the Raiders. And I still say he could put them in a situation that forces their hand to trade him in conference. Okay, because it does no good to trade the man to a team he doesn't want to go to. Because the team on the other side is not going to agree to do that either. Okay? Uh, They're going to want a happy Aaron Rodgers. Right? Now, man, if the Packers were to just let him go and he really wanted to come back, man, man, I wonder if that would not be an Aaron Rodgers motivated in a way that maybe we've never actually seen Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers playing with, and let's be real, Tom Brady was the master of getting himself pissed off over something to go out and wreck shop in the league. We saw that with Brady over a few things over the years and the Patriots. Aaron Rodgers will make a decision on future sooner rather than later after emerging from Darkness Retreat. He was on a podcast. The NFL world is hanging on Aaron Rodgers' every word as a four-time MVP contemplates his football future. Rodgers has made it clear he is undecided on what comes next, whether he will return to Green Bay for the 19th season, ask for a trade, or retire as one of the greatest quarterbacks to play the game. Packers GM Brian Gunku spoke to reporters on Tuesday at the NFL Combine, said he's hoping the two sides come to a decision on Rodgers' future before the start of free agency, which kicks off on the 15th. Wow, we're only two weeks away. On the Aubrey Marcus podcast, now this is some like self, self-help guru of some kind. I don't know. Some people are calling him a snake oil salesman. Who cares? I don't know. I mean, a lot of people are going to just show up to listen to what Rogers got to say. Rogers said, by the way, this guy looks like he's got a pretty big following. Rogers said... He'll make a decision in the near future. It's best for anybody who has interest in this to make a decision sooner rather than later. He has said he is not going to hold the Packers hostage. The podcast appearance was the first for Rodgers since emerging from his four-day darkness retreat, which the quarterback had stated was to, quote, contemplate all things my future, then make a decision I feel like is best for me moving forward in the highest interest of my happiness. Gunakus told reporters on Tuesday that him and Rodgers have not connected this offseason beyond exchanging text messages. Quote, I feel really good about the conversations that are going to be had, that have been had with important people in my life, yourself included, that helped me to orient, that helped to orient me. Rogers continued, but I'm not looking for somebody to tell me what the answer is. All the answers are right inside of me, and I touched on many of them and definitely the feelings on both sides during the darkness. And I'm thankful for that. There's a finality to the decision, and I don't take it lightly. I don't want to drag anybody around. I I believe that, actually. Look, I'm answering questions about it because I got asked about it. I'm talking about it because it's important to me. If you don't like it, if you think it's drama, you think I'm a diva or whatever, just tune it out. That's fine. But this is my life. It's important to me, and I'll make a decision soon enough, and then we'll go down that road and be really excited about it. Rodgers threw 12 interceptions in 2022. The second most in his career as Green Bay failed to make the playoffs. You know what's amazing about that? He threw 12 interceptions. You realize back in the 80s and like all the 90s, 12 interceptions would have been like low. (laughs) That would have been a low amount of interceptions potentially. Uh, Or you would see some some good quarterback now have like 20 touchdowns and 14 interceptions. I mean, that kind of thing was commonplace. Much harder league to play in back then. Uh, The offense has gotten a lot of things in their favor over the years from a rules standpoint because of fantasy football. So, there you have it with Rodgers. Okay? Uh, 
I still believe Aaron Rodgers. I, you know, I thought he was going back to the Packers. I did. Maybe he will. But after that, that was also prior to Brian Gunikus coming out yesterday and talking about Jordan Love and that whole situation. And I was like, oh, you know what? I think the Packers may be the ones that are really ready to move on, which kind of takes you back to that story from Bob McGinn about the Packers being done, being disgusted with Rodgers, blah, blah, blah. Now, they're trying to keep it friendly in the media, right, for the most part. But it just sounded like they're done with Aaron. They're, they, they think it's a sound decision. Evidently, they've seen something from Jordan Love that would lead them to believe he's ready to play. Okay. I mean, maybe. Maybe he has. And uh, I know he looked better when we saw him play. But, you know, I mean, I still didn't think he looked great or even good. Just kind of fair, right? I will say this. You got to wonder. Patrick Mahomes set for a year... Jordan Love set for three years now. At what point do some of these franchises start drafting quarterbacks and literally say, we're not playing them for two years? I mean, you have to wonder at what point, uh, because there was a time when that sort of happened, right? And... um, I wonder, I think the problem with doing that now is coaches get fired so quick, you know? Um, but if I was a if I was an organization where I had a decent quarterback playing, I'd consider setting my rookie for like one or two years. I, I really would. Just to see, I mean, there cannot be anything negative out of, out of learning the offense for an entire year. Rookie minicamp, all of that all the way through. Watch the season. Watch your quarterback and how he comes to work and all this stuff. Set the proper expectations and then go out and start the following year or the year after, you know. As um, far as Aaron Rodgers goes, Jets, I guess. I still think, oddly, and I know everybody will be like, you're a Niners fan, so that's why you keep saying it. Look. The Niners are going to go after a veteran quarterback because the Brock Purdy thing is starting to look worse and worse. I mean, the wheels are coming off there, okay? Uh, I think he might maybe finally get a surgery next week. But that elbow's worse than they thought, okay? He still had inflammation around it all these weeks later. Couldn't even have a surgery, okay? Trey Lance, dumpster fire. Um I still think Rodgers would love to play for his favorite childhood team, the Niners. But if I had to wager money at this point, at this this moment, and that could change by the end of today after Rodgers makes more comments, or the Packers make more comments, but at this moment of this video, I think he's going to the Jets. So there it is. Now, by the end of the day, I might be like, I don't know, Tennessee Titans. Again, word has it, they're sniffing around behind the scenes. And by the way, Jeff Darlington did say on Ryan Rossillo's show, there is a third team here that nobody's talking about. Or at least it isn't among the Raiders jet situation. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.